Hello and welcome back to my channel, my name's Eva and this is the first video on my channel in 2024. Also, it's the first month of 2024 and I already bought a new guitar, which seems like a perfect start to a new year. And actually, I wasn't even planning to get a new guitar right now until this beautiful thing showed up. So let me tell you a story. This is a pretty rare Yamaha from the 70s, the Yamaha SG45. My boyfriend Mick had an eye on this exact model for a while now and he showed it to me countless times. And I always liked it too, visually, but it was his little dream to get this guitar one day. But honestly, we didn't even think realistically about ever getting this model. As I said before, it's a pretty rare model and most of these are in Japan, so it's not that easy to buy them, especially in Europe and Poland. But recently Mick was scrolling through Reverb.com and he found this one. And it was not only in Europe, but in Poland. We knew such opportunity wouldn't probably happen ever again, so we decided to buy it together. Well, actually we were planning to get a new bed and a couple of new furniture pieces for our apartment, but you know, priorities. So let me tell you more about this model, because I'm pretty sure most of you haven't heard about it before. So throughout the 60s and 70s, Yamaha certainly had a couple of cool, quirky and unique designs in their models. The model I'm about to show you dates back to the pre-Santana era, a time when Yamaha was making a couple of different body shapes under the same series, before they got consolidated into the double cut body shape that's still available today. In 1972, they introduced the Yamaha SG40 and the SG45 that I'm holding right now. Drawing inspiration from the enduring popularity of the Gibson Les Paul models, these models featured symmetrical three pegs to a side, headstocks, two humbucking pickups and solid bodies with a thick single cutaway design. The Yamaha SG45 has a body crafted from the Japanese wood called Katsura. The guitar in itself is surprisingly light. So I'm wondering if the Japanese wood is so light or maybe it is chambered in some way. This guitar has a natural finish, but as far as I know, there were also walnut and red ones. It's got a set neck made of mahogany, complemented by rosewood fretboard. When it comes to the electronics, it's got two humbuckers controlled by two volume and two tone controls and a three-way switch. It's also got a pretty unique bridge design, which is a hybrid of a wraparound with full adjustment capabilities. Right now you're probably wondering how it sounds and waiting for the playing part, so let's go!
happy that we somehow managed to get this guitar even though it seemed impossible for years. And as you probably know from following my channel and Instagram and my guitar collection, I'm really into unique guitars and getting into Japanese quirky guitars. Uh, some time ago I bought my Tesco from the 60s, which is a pretty unique guitar. Also, there is a Japanese Greco right there behind me on the wall. So I'm getting into these Japanese old vintage guitars and I'm glad we can include that one in our collection. If you know any other old Japanese guitars that are worth trying, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and also ring the bell to be notified when I post new videos. And follow me on Instagram for some more guitar content. See you next time. Bye!